In her Kabul home, Sophia logs on to an online English class. You get awareness. The Taliban government has barred female students from high schools and universities, but it hasn't banned the internet. In fact, Taliban officials are regulars on social media. But Sophia's classmates distort and the picture freezes. Power cuts and cripplingly slow internet provide yet more hurdles for Afghan women. The 22-year-old says after years of war in the Taliban, they're used to persevering. I want to continue my studies in online courses and uh, this is my dream, this is my goal, to finish my studying, whatever, what happened in Afghanistan. Miss Sophia, how are you? Her online school, Rumi Academy, went from about 50 mostly female students to more than 500 after the Taliban took over in 2021. It says it had to turn hundreds down. The Taliban still allow online study. But Sophia's teacher, Sana, says there are always security concerns. It's so obvious that uh, if you want to do a cru crucial thing, if you want to take an action that is very important, you have to risk. Uh, and absolutely, uh, we risked everything. Yes, it is risky for us. A growing number of institutes are trying to reach girls and women digitally in their homes. 97% of Afghans are poor so computers and Wi-Fi are out of reach for many. But Sophia believes it's impossible for Afghan women to be kept at home indefinitely. After every sunset, there is sunshine, there is a day. So this is why we must be hopeful and we don't lose our belief, our hopes, and uh, we must be strong in that situation.